Seagulls. <laughs> so, how have I got foundation on my trackies? I literally just put these on. What's wrong with me? Hi guys, and welcome to or back to my channel. Today, I thought I'd film a little Zara haul because I'm a bit shocked by Zara. I feel like Zara's one of those shops where they go through phases of having really nice bits in store and then sometimes having some horrific things in store. I never used to shop at Zara because I never used to find things that I liked but I always saw people wear really nice things and I would always ask them where it's from and they'd always say Zara so I was always a bit but yeah I found some really nice bits so I thought I would show you but before we get into the video please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so you know when our next video uploading and what our next video uploading and like I always say it really really does support my channel so I really really do appreciate it when people do like and comment and subscribe you know I'm still find my way through YouTube but I am really grateful for everyone who does subscribe because it's literally just me talking to a camera so but you seem to like it anyway let's get into the video at the moment Zara is on point with their summer bits um, I think the different the Zara stores definitely vary across the UK, but the one in Brighton is really really good. I'm just been in Zara f like five days this week, <gasps> um, so I'm really getting to know the staff there. Where do I start? Okay, I think I'm going to start with this one item that I wore today actually to the beach. Um, yeah, I have just come back from the beach, so please do excuse the windswept hair. Um, but yeah. I wore this at the beach and I was really liking it. It's this really nice skirt um, or like a score actually. So they have like put in like some little shorts underneath as well which I think is so practical because today at the beach it was so windy and I wasn't worried about it because I got my shorts on underneath. So this is actually really cute. Just a really nice pattern. It's like a nice little dainty pattern. It's a lilac colour. They have these in other colours as well. I think there's red. I can't remember what other colour. Maybe there's blue. But I really like lilac um, on me. Um, and they've got, as you can see, like a nice little tie thing here. Where you can tie it tight in the waist. And there's a zip on the side here. But yeah, I think it's really, really, really cute. I really like it. I've got this in an extra small. It fits really well. Not too short, as you can probably see. Um, and it's only £20. So I thought that was quite a bargain. The next item I got was these really nice shorts. I don't think you can go wrong with a pair of white shorts. Like these are really nice, good quality. They can be dressed up or down. I was just imagining like wearing these shorts to like an evening drinks or evening dinner on holiday. I mean, some people are now going on holiday, so these are perfect for this kind of weather. Just really nice summery pair of shorts. So they're cotton, it says. Yeah, they're cotton. Um, but I think you can just wear this with black top or a nice body. Honestly, you can wear any top with a pair of white shorts, I think. But yeah, you can also probably wear this with a shirt over the top as well. Or and some very nice sandals. Or you could kind of make it into a cool style. Wear it with like trainers and an oversized tee. Um, these pair of shorts are so versatile and they fit so well. Um, I got this in a size extra small as well. And again, only £20. So I think that's such a bargain. So another purchase that I'm very happy with. Um, I then also have got this really nice square neck black top. It's kind of like a ribbed material and it's double lined as well. So you can get away with not wearing a bra underneath. And I just think a square neck is so flattering. I don't know about you. I mean, I'm really self-conscious about my shoulders. I feel like I've got man shoulders. So anything like halter neck, um, I just, I can't wear. Um, but square neck, I think I can get away with. So yeah, I wore this the other night actually with a white linen mini skirt and some trainers. Um, but again, you can dress this up or down. Um, and I got this in a size small and it's really stretchy as well. So yeah, a, a great basic that everyone needs in their wardrobe, I think. I mean, I'm sure everyone has seen these around, but I'm not surprised because I honestly think these are my favorite pair of jeans ever that I've owned, ever. They're just so well-fitted. 
I don't know what it is about them, um, but these really lovely high-rise blue bleach denim jeans. That's a mouthful. I don't know what it is about these jeans, but they're just so well fitted. They really cinch you in the waist, but they actually also fit around like the bum and the thighs. And I've always had an issue with finding a pair of jeans that fit me really well. Like they've never fully fit around the waist. And also with jeans, for me anyway, they're never always the right length. And these are kind of like a boot cut. So these are like the perfect length for me. I, I just really, I don't like an ankle grazer or I don't really like anything like that. I just like it when it kind of sits right above the shoe and these do exactly that. I have seen some people who actually cut the ends as well because they are probably a bit too long for some people. Um, but yeah, I think the color is bang on. Um, it's just a color that I've just been looking in jeans for so long. And they just look exactly like Levi's, um, but a lot cheaper. I can't actually remember how much they were. I think they were like 30 pounds. But yeah, just so, so well fitted. I really, really do recommend getting these. I originally thought I was a size six in these jeans. Um, so I ordered a size six and they arrived. They fitted me, but they weren't, you know, the perfect fit. So then I took them back and I got a size four in store, which I mean, I thought size four, that's, that, that's definitely not gonna fit me, but it is just a perfect fit for me. I'm not a size four in any other retail shop, so Zara is definitely the first for that. So yeah, I'd say probably, I don't know, if you like it tight on the waist, then maybe size down. I would just kind of try, try a pair on and if it doesn't fit, obviously then get another pair. Um, but yeah, I'd definitely get these. It's a great, great purchase. I do love these and I'm getting so much wear out of them. You can never have too many pairs of jeans, am I right? Right? You just can't. Okay, then I got this beautiful linen but not linen shirt it's oversized i did have a zara shirt it wasn't quite like this it was it wasn't like a button-up one it was just kind of a, a big v-neck oversized one and i loved it when i was on holiday it was great to just like chuck over but i don't know where it's gone so i got this one i saw this in store and yeah i just thought i didn't i have to get it like a linen shirt i think is such a staple in your wardrobe. And again, it's just like those beachy vibes, those like summer dinner evenings. It's just so, so my vibe. So you can wear this over jeans, you can wear this over the denim shorts, you can tuck it into shorts. These would also probably look really nice with the white shorts that I showed earlier. I mean, yeah, just you just can't go wrong. You could also wear this just over a bikini if you're on holiday or just like in the garden, wherever you are. And I got this in a size small, so it does come up oversized. So I was a bit worried because there wasn't any mediums or larges in store and I probably would have gone for that. But I'm actually happy that I went for a small because I think any bigger, it would have just looked a bit too oversized. It would have just probably drowned me. I think this was 25 pounds. So a bit more on the pricier side, but it's such good material that I just think quality over quantity any day. Then I got another shirt. It's kind of creased because I left it in the bag. I really shouldn't have done that. Um, but I just saw this. I just, I could not get it. I am loving color at the moment. Like I'm just loving color. I love like purples, pastels. I just love it. 2019 Amelia would have thought, Absolutely not, hun. White and grey, nude, that's your colour. But 2020, I'm wearing colour. But yeah, I really, really love this. Again, you can just wear this over a shorts. You can wear this over a skirt, white skirt. You can wear this over like a white dress. You can probably just wear this as a shirt dress with some really nice, cute ankle socks and trainers. Or you can even wear it with like some strappy heels. Again, it's just so versatile. And in store, they had this also in orange and blue. I was going to get the orange, but it was a slightly off orange colour. I didn't know if I would look like a traffic light in it or not. So I stuck with the purple. But again, this, this purple is quite like a fluorescent purple, but not. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. Can you kind of see? I'm gutted it's creased. It's really annoying. I got this in a size medium, and this was also £20. Everything I've got really is around the £20 mark, which I really don't think is bad at all. I think that's really reasonable, for Zara especially, because Zara quality is probably the best, I think, anyway. I haven't had any bad experiences with Zara. So yeah, this is another great staple. I love, 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 love. And then the last bit I got was, again, I'm so unoriginal. I was kind of reluctant on buying this because with I like with clothing items, I don't know what it is, but I don't like getting what everyone else has. I don't know why I've gone so long without not getting this. Now, I haven't tried it on yet, but let me just show you. I haven't even shown you. It's the basic Zara white bodysuit. I'm sure you've all seen this, but 
just a white bodysuit. Really, really nice material though. Like I'm feeling it now and it's like really like, it's nice. It's not heavy, but it's, you can tell it's good quality, really stretchy. And I was a bit annoyed though, because all of the bodysuits had foundation on them. So it does kind of freak me out that people have tried these on. And this this one isn't too bad, but it does, does have a bit on it. But yeah, like I said, I haven't tried it on yet, but I think they've what they've done is they've changed the double lining inside to just making it like half down the bodysuit. I'm not sure if you can see, but probably in the clips where I try it on, you'll be able to see. But they've just stopped halfway with the, the double lining, which I don't know why they've done that. I think with other older bodysuits that people have got, the double lining just runs all the way down. I'm a bit skeptical about that. But hopefully when I try it on, you won't be able to see it through. So that is everything I got in Zara. Um, that is all the summer bits that I've found in store so far. I could easily have gotten so much more. There was actually so much in store, which I really loved. But being a student and all, I don't have that money. But yeah, it's one of those shops where I've thought, what was I wearing before I got all these items? Do you ever get that? When you go on, you go on like a little shopping spree or you, you buy a few items and you're like, what the hell was I wearing before I got this? Because it's kind of like all you seem to wear now. Um, so it's one of those ones. So I think that ends the Zara haul. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got some inspo. Big disclaimer, I am no fashion guru, but people wanted to see a haul, so I thought I would just show you one. Please, if you did like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Like I said, it really does support my channel, so please, please do subscribe. Comment down below if you want any more information or if you have any other things that you've seen in store that you think I'd like please comment below. Also, please pop down in the comment section any suggestions for future videos because they are really, really helpful. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.